meeting is now uh, in order. And um, so um, did do some discussions, Bob. Uh, no. This is being That's recorded right. on RCTV, and uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> is he on? Um, yep. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So we're live. Um, so we don't have Dean Road. Uh, can you introduce yourself? And yeah. So uh, my name is Ryan DeGrande. I'm from MG Hall, North Reading. Yeah. Doing the Red Road project. And basically, with the pl um, the plan change they want is my first stand up there. Certainly. So basically, the propane tanks I believe were originally um, planned to go toward the front of the yard because to get more away from the wetlands that are up here. Are they shown on that? They're not shown on this plan. No. Okay. Um, it shows? Uh, both houses. Both houses are going to have a propane tank proposed. Uh, pro I mean, it's, if you zoom up a little bit, you can see them. Um, right there. Pro uh, proposed propane tanks, and then if you don't mind going back down, please. Uh, right here. Okay, I see them now. There. Uh, okay, yep. And basically, when you install a propane tank, like I was just uh, explaining, was um, after they're installed, there's a riser that sticks up out of the ground, and it would ruin the curb appeal of the houses. So what we want to do is move them just back a small amount, because from here to here is down a decent, you know, a light hill, and that would hide them from basically the curb appeal of the houses. So what we're looking to do is do that, because you'll have, you know, three beautiful brand new houses with a, you know, a ruined curb appeal from, a, you know, a cover sticking up like that. And if you can see by the plan too, it's like they're still within the back of the uh, foundations of these houses that are already now existing. So we're not excavating toward the wetlands any further than we already have. All digging, um, any excavation will be done from the upside of the hill. So all equipment will be on this side. The no equipment will be in the wetlands toward the sill fence whatsoever. So it will be dug, dug from upside the hill, uh, backfilled with clean sand. And that's uh, that's pretty much all that they want to do is moving backwards just to preserve the curb appeal of the house. Are they shown where that you want to put them or where do you want to put them? Right here is where we want to put them. Oh, where were they before? They were out more toward the street in the front yard. Do you, do you remember where? On the not, not exactly going off the plan. Okay. But if you want to, uh, if you could zoom down again. Well, I got it on the paper too, whatever no, works best for you. Down the other way, actually. Yeah, so this is the, obviously you can see this is the street line. Mm -hmm. and I believe they're more proposed to be up in the front yards. It's just what it was you know, originally wanted, but they want to move them back down because from here to there is an elevation change down so that it'll be, uh, the covers will be hidden by the, the grade uh, difference to um, hide them from the curb appeal of the new houses. What are those indicated on the plans where it says 2B and 3A? What's that? What are those squares on the plan that are indicated by 2B and 3A? Yeah, see how they connect to the corner of the house? Yeah. So those would be the... Those Caltech tension chambers. Caltech chambers. So. Actually, I can probably see that on yours than mine. Mine's yours. Well, is there a, uh, a legend on this? Yeah, far, uh, far right. This is where your structure is. Questions I had on this. Oh, uh, infiltration shows. Here, yeah. Infiltration chambers. Infiltration chambers. Yeah. Chambers, yeah. yeah. Okay. There you go. So, um, one of the things it shows here is I see the, I see on this. If you can just zoom that in, uh, by right near the. Um, so I see the 25 foot line there. I don't see the 35 foot line. Is that 35? This is the 25. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. All right. And then the other one by the 254 up in the cul culvert uh, area is the 100 foot, it looks like. Yeah. Up here? Yeah. 
Oh, that's not so good. like right here. That's it. No. No, it'd be way out. It'd two, be out two, of the two fifty-four runs to cul-de-sac. Yeah. That line almost goes horizontal. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably the hundred up there. So. Yes. I mean, it's outside the thirty-five foot line, so. Um, problem with that. Any other questions? So I assume this is seeking a minor permit change. Um, do I hear a motion to approve the minor permit change? Motion to approve the minor permit change for the propane tanks at Randall Road, lots two and three. Do I hear a second? Second. All those in favor? Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Ryan DeGrande. Ryan DeGrande. Want to spell it for you? Sure. Last name? Uh, D-E-G-R-A-N-D-E. -E. All right. Thank you, Ryan. Good timing. Wow. That was perfect timing. Perfect. <laughs> Sorry Thank that you, you Ryan. Wait so long. No, not a problem. Not a problem. Nice meeting you guys. Um, of course. Thanks for your patience. All right, no problem. Um, I, why don't you call Chuck tomorrow? He'll be in. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a great Thank night. Thank you. Okay. Um, this is perfect time. <laughs> um, I have to read a little script because this is a notice of intent. Um, Okay, public hearing for notice of intent 270-6698 um, is now open to be conducted concurrently under the authority of the Massachusetts Wetlands Protection Act, Mass General Laws. Chapter 131, Section 40 is amended in the Reading General Bylaws, Section 7.1. Hearing is conducted in the following manner. Um, the applicant will present the proposal. Commission will receive reports from Administrator um, the Commission will address questions and comments to the applicant, and then the public will be given the opportunity to ask questions, um, but I don't see anybody here. And if you folks could sign the attendance sheet in the back corner to the, my left. At this time, I'm going to introduce members of the Conservation Commission starting on my right. Well, who's? David Panette. Rebecca Longley, Chair. Harry Curtis. They called me Harry Hardware. Just so you know. <laughs> I won't ask you how you got that name. But, but those are, those Makes are good. Couple, Chuck, my, a good my, conservation my, my administrator, my doesn't have, doesn't, doesn't have to be good at I'm good. everything. <laughs> it's good at other things. Just Bob Croker. Bob Croker. On the agenda for things, there's no. Not my copy, there's no 0698, there's a 97, which is continued. At 7.20 p.m. That's, that's this one right here. It's 0698. Oh, she just, she just filled oh, in the oh, number. Oh, 5 Dean Road. Yep. Yes. Yes. Yep. Okay, I didn't know if I was just missing something. I'm good. Okay. To introduce yourself. Okay, I'm Bob Crocker. This is my wife, Lorna. We reside at 5 Dean Road. And tell you what we're doing. Or yeah, absolutely, yes, certainly. Um, we're proposing to remove a three season, actually, can show right here. We're going to remove this three season porch right here, um, cut with, along with that stairwell there. Um, um, after we rip that down, we're proposing to build this addition right here. Um, the addition, this, this point's about 75 feet. I think if you have the 15, this is going to be like 90 feet from the wetlands. Um, see, the there's an existing pool and deck between the two, uh, and originally they put straw bales on the front, but uh, when we went out and did the site evaluation, everybody was on the agreement that they weren't going to do anything on the creative drinking hazard. 
because the water is going to go the other way. The pool deck is in the way to make it over to the wetlands, which are over here. That's about it. All right, um, Chuck, Dave, and myself took a site inspection uh, around 2 o'clock on Monday afternoon. Um, Harry, can you move over to the left? Yeah, we took a look at the wetlands at first, um, <clears throat> and uh, those were uh, put in by Norse Environmental. And the flags. Yep. yep. Flag 1A, we did change. It was way down. There's a, there's a stream, and there's also Associated Bank, which is another resource area, and we felt that that 1A needed to come up about five feet, was it, Dave? Three feet. Three feet. So that it was, would be. It was attached to a, like a wisteria, so it kind of whipped all around. We just. It was kind of in the right place when he put it on because I was actually there. It kind of and fell, it down. fell off. Fell down. So. Fell down. Yeah. It, it just got staked up, up over the other curb, the cornice of the, uh, of the, uh, of the uh, culvert. It was fine. The, the other thing that that we did uh, observe um, is that. There's an apron around that existing pool, and when you look at it, it actually the apron. If 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 I'm on this side of closest to the new proposed uh, deck, it actually slopes this way. It doesn't slope towards the wetland. So anything that would be coming off of the proposed deck would be going this it way. Goes away from the pool. Yeah, all yeah, the, the way, way, and it yeah. goes away from the wetland. So. Um, Chuck didn't think it was necessary to, to have those straw wattles uh, located in that area. Did you guys decide what you were going to do with the when you took the the concrete um, patio well, that's well, adjacent to the apron? What you're going to do there? Uh, we put um, pervious pavers. Okay. That uh, small section between there and the deck. Yep. Any other questions from the commission? I don't really have any questions. It looks pretty straightforward to me. Okay. Do I hear a motion to approve the notice of intent? Make a motion to approve uh, NOA 270-06985 Dean Road. Do we hear a second? All those in favor? We've done it before, yeah. Um, we're not closing this, um, and Chuck would have to write an order of conditions. So what we do is we, we hold this open so that it gives you the opportunity to see what is written in the order of conditions. Okay. And if there were any changes that you would have to discuss with us, it would have to be through, you know, an open meeting law. So that's why we can't close it. Yep. So our next meeting is in two weeks. Thirteen. Yeah. Yep. Can, can Chuck write the order in the next two weeks? Oh, yeah. He'll write the order. Okay. And then, you know, the, our next meeting would have that order of conditions and, and you right. know. We'll sign it. And then you'll have the 10 days after we sign it. I think, I think Chuck, didn't Chuck, I asked when, I, when yeah. we were there, I asked. Yeah, and um, I think we did say that it yeah. wouldn't be done to. So it was 10 days after the 13th. Right. Correct, yeah. Yes. Yep. Yep. Before. Yes. And at that point, I complied for building, right? Correct. What's up? Yeah, thank you right. very much. It thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. I know it's a late this night. This was tough, yeah. You guys must be happy it's an easy one. <laughs> it was an easy one. Yeah, but you guys did a good job putting it together. So you <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Good night. Okay. So far. Have you been to the Oxford House? Oh, yeah. That um, place is awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, he has a place in um, Waterford. Um, and I'm in Freiburg. And he was talking about somebody that actually goes from Look right down from me. Um, okay. So, Bob, um, we 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 discussed. We didn't open the meeting 
um, before you came, but we were able to hear from Ryan Purcell uh, about um, the water main project from Salem Street down to uh, the town line off of Mill Street. It goes down and then goes, you know, off to the left Mill Street right before the Ipswich River. Familiar with Mill? Salem Street is... Right here, yes. Yeah. So they're doing the water main from so Salem... Street. Don Main Street, at, from starting at Salem Street on Main Street all the way down to and, Mill, to all Mill, the way up to Mill Street, mm -hmm. up to Mill, and then they right take. Across where I live. Yeah, I know. I was mm -hmm. just gonna say, you just live across the street. Um, then they're going down Mill Street and stop at the town line. Right. Um, and it 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 is basically it was an informational meeting because it was uh, under their general permit. And Mr. Percival explained, you know, how they were doing it and. I'm not going to, I don't really, I'm not qualified yeah. to go into it. Yeah. Um, kind of had a general idea, but they need um, a signature on that particular extension. So um, do I hear a motion to, I think. I'll, I'll make a motion to sign, to sign the, the uh, extension. Sure. All right. Those in favor? Okay. We don't have to sign the, the one for the the culvert, right? That was on no. the maintenance permit. Yeah, I think that was. I wasn't quite sure about. Yeah, that. that was that was under maintenance. Right. Oh yeah, this yeah. So. Yeah. So the. Um, how are they going to get across that bridge? <laughs> Did not yet. The pipe run. It doesn't run across. It doesn't run into North Reading. So it's beside it somewhere in the river. It just terminates before it gets to the bridge. Yeah, you mean Mill, at Mill Street? Yeah. Yeah, I, it, it doesn't yeah, cross. The town lines on the other side of the bridge. Yeah, but the, the, yeah. on the plan he showed us, he's, he's, they're not crossing no, the bridge. They're not, no. They're going to there, and that, that actually was something that um, came up last year, and it was very complex because of the, the uh, Blobs Mill site, the historical site, and then actually sure. where the town line is. In this which side of the road they were going to come out on. And I was just curious. I, I couldn't imagine that. Yeah, because there's, no, there's nothing, North Reading's not buying any of the water. Right. right. So there's no reason to go across the bridge. They're not actually committed oh, yet. What always amazed me is when they spent is this one yours? the amount of time they did building yes. that bridge. Give this to Bob. Yeah. They couldn't have made it three feet wider. Yeah. I mean, two, two, two trucks coming down the road literally have to almost come to a stop to let each other get by. I'm talking about pickup trucks, yeah. not big trucks. Yeah, I know. It's, it's ridiculous. And I freak out when I ride my bike there. Yeah. Is this one? This, I have this. Here. Do you have one? I do. Yep. I, I actually heard that that was kind of a historical thing well, as to why that was so narrow. Well, it, historically, for the age it probably is, I doubt they use the construction methods that we were doing. Hmm. The bridge? Which means the bridge going on Mill Street in the North River. It's just granite blocks. Yeah, the chain. Yeah, I mean, I don't know why they didn't make it wider. It's yeah. crazy. Well, I think when they replaced the surface it, whatever that was, they, they, put a, they put a precast piece of concrete on no. top of it. Yeah, actually, they, they poured that in place, but they poured it on top of the old abutments. It looks like they completely what are we supposed rebuilt to do with the bridge. This stuff? I'm just going to bring it out back as far as I can go and see if I can find a place to secure it. I'll go with you. I okay. Guess. Who presented the uh, water main? What's his name? Ryan Percival. Ryan, Ryan Percival. Percival. Uh, it's a town engineer. Because um, he doesn't go with this guy. Too. All right. So that's that. This is my stuff. Very good scribe. <laughs> now make a motion to adjourn. I'll second it. That's all in favor. All in favor. Meeting is adjourned.